Hello my friends and welcome back. So in the previous tutorials we created a house. You see this uh, blue thing here using a series of points. And these points will um, draw a line on the chart. And if we go on the line we can select it to be non-smooth. Okay, so broken. So that's what we want always when we build this, uh, like the roller coaster for instance. And also if we interrupt the line, we can interrupt the line by deleting points here, so leaving empty spaces. And then uh, even though we have only one line right here, you see, the blue line is continuous column of data, two, con two continuous column of data, but since we provided these empty spaces, these blank spaces, we avoid, um, we can jump from groups of uh, lines together so the roof is a group okay here the roof you see the door is another group between them we leave blank spaces then what we did is we did a scaling with a scale factor between 0 to I believe 2 then we did X offset so X translate X uh, Y translate so Y offset so vertical offset and then we added rotation so the red house is the blue house except it has scaling okay let me demonstrate scale up scale down it has horizontal translation so x offset and vertical translation okay so y offset and the greenhouse if i click on it you see the data is coming from here the greenhouse, it, uh, it's a rotated version of the red house. We can uh, see, we can rotate it in both directions, in both senses. So now I want to show you how using a fairly simple user-defined function we can replace uh, four columns of data with only one column of data, with only two columns of data, and in the in each cell there's only one function, a user-defined function. The syntax of the user-defined function is this. First you write the word function, and then the name, you give it a name, you give your name, custom name. Make sure it doesn't, it's not a reserved word, Make sure you don't put uh, hyphen because it's interpreted as a minus hyphen. And also in parentheses you have a list of arguments. In our case we will use six arguments. Then inside the body of the function we have some math, some logic, and then the statement and function. I already wrote a very simple one for you. So function, I call it my underscore addition. Arguments are a, a and B. We can also write them as, declare them as double, double precision. B as double. Okay. Wait. Um, and also we can declare the return of function double as I usually don't declare them if you don't declare them the default is variant a variant can be a double it can be an integer can be a long integer can be even a matrix but um, see if you want to use uh, standard VBA practices it's better to declare them personally I don't declare them so I like to keep it very simple, even though maybe it's not so correct, I mean so formal. So now I take this name here, my addition, this custom name, control C, go in the spreadsheet here, here are just two numbers, A and B, I gave these uh, numbers here, 1.1, 3.5, the sum should be 4.6, and here I say equal, control V, so the name of the function, you see it already recognized it, recognized it as a function. Parenthesis, A, you can say A is this guy, 
so V is 7, comma, and uh, B is W7. And then it gives the result the way we expected. It adds A and B. In order to replace these calculations over three columns with only two functions, we need to declare this function the following. First, we need to declare a function for the x value of the, let me see, of the rotated house right here. So let's call it uh, the series of operations. So function, first, what do we have? We have scaling, sc, scaling, underscore. What else we have? We have translation. So TR translation. And then what else we have? Rotation. R O T. And then one is this one is for X. Because we have to fill two columns, we need two functions. X. So input is X, Y. What else? Scale S C. What else? Um DX delta X. So the horizontal offset or translation. dy, so the vertical translation, so the vertical offset. And then rot, the angle of rotation in degrees. Inside, let's uh, divide this in three different sections. One, apostrophe, so we follow with a comment. One is for scaling. So scale okay then another comment let's call it offset or translation translate translate and the, the the last one is rotate I have the formulas for rotation right here okay the new X the rotated X is a combination between the previous non rotated coordinate coordinates x and y and uh, the angle theta but this angle has to be in radians not in degrees I will show you how to convert them okay so we go back and say scale x the new x is equal to the scaling factor sc times x the old x okay so the new x is equal to the old x is equal to the old x times sc. sc is the scaling factor. Then copy this. y, the new y is equal to the scaling fa factor times the old y. Okay. Now let's uh, do the translation. So the new x is equal to the old x, x plus dx. And the new y is equal to the old y plus dy. For rotate, we use this first line in this group of formulas. So the x prime, which is the rotated x, is equal to x, the old x, times cos of theta, plus the old y times sine of theta. So, in this case, for this particular column right here, we only use the first formula. And x prime is actually the return of the function. So we copy this name, control C is equal to control V is equal to the old x, which is the x we calculated here. Okay, here is a typo. It's an equal, okay? So the old x times, look here, cos of theta, times cos of rot, because this is the angle, rot here, right here, the argument for rotation, plus, look here at, at the formula, plus y times sine of rot, okay, so, oops, something and um, I tell you we have a problem here okay because we declare we we use degrees here for rotation 
However, the functions, the trigonometric function, and even the sine cosine in the spreadsheet accept only radians. Okay, so look what we did here. Click here, you see a radius of that rotation angle. Okay, so there's a spreadsheet function called radians. So this is a built in function. Okay, so let's test it. This is equal to rotation of this guy. Okay. Uh, no, I'm sorry, not rotation. What am I doing? Radius. Okay. So if it's 360, it should be zero. This is zero. If it's 180, how many radians are in 180 degrees? Is pi 3.14. Check this out. I'm going to 180 from here. 180, you see 3.14. So the function works. So let's do this radians, okay? Copy this, control C. And I'm making a mistake here on purpose, okay, to show you something. Uh, we need to escape here. So go and type radians, I mean, radians of rot. And we will get an error, okay? Check this out. I'm telling you it's not the function is not gonna work, but uh, let's just uh, use it like this and I will de demonstrate control C control V. Okay. And uh, then let's apply it, okay? So copy here, control C. How do we use the function? Say equal control V, the name of the function. You see it already recognized it, Excel recognized it. Parenthesis. What argument we have for this function? What arguments? X, Y, first X, Y. So X, we take it from here. And we need to, I would like to copy this formula to the right. So I would like to absolute reference the columns. So in front of B, we put a dollar sign, okay? Then what comes in the following, the next argument is Y. So X, Y, then S, C, scaling. Okay, so Y is here. And we put a dollar sign in front of the column. Okay, we can use F4 for that. But in this case, I just typed it. What else? S, C, scale, this guy. Hit F4 once, and uh, we have absolute referenced both the column and the row. So no matter where we copy this fo formula, <clears throat> up, down, right, left, the scale will stay the same. Okay, well, the, yeah, the scale, scale, the scale uh, argument will be picked up from B3. What's next is delta X, okay, you see, delta X, delta Y hit an F4 here, so we absolute reference both row and column here. So whenever we, we copy this down or right or wherever we copy it, this reference will stay fixed, anchored there. Then we put translate, the translate uh, term, F4, then comma, the last one is the rotation. Okay, so rotation is from here at F4. Close this, hit return. Okay, now it pointed me that I have an error here. There is no function called radians in VBA. There is one in worksheet, okay, the worksheet function, radians. But there's nothing in VBA. So we need to do this. Application dot radians. This way, if we use the word application with a dot in front of the function, it takes the function, functionality of the spreadsheet function radians. So let's uh, copy this, okay? Control C and paste it here. Stop, remove the error. So now it should work. Let's check this out. You see, 
5.379 whatever 5.379 if we copy this down we can see this data is identical to this the numbers I mean not the data these are formulas <clears throat> it's not data in these cells it's only formulas but I say the results are the same which means this function right here uh, has the same effect uh, produces the same result as uh, using multiple formulas across this uh, row let's uh, copy this so control C and define another function control V instead of X we put here Y everything else is the same also we need to use you see here the second row minus X sine plus Y cos of theta so we replace in the name the the letter X with Y and here we need a minus look here minus X times sinus plus y times cos okay and now we can copy this formula right here and instead of this function we replace it with y the second function hit return okay there's a problem we need to replace this with y so this name right here is the return function right here has to be the same otherwise we get an error let's see now uh, now we get the same thing okay minus 11 minus 11 okay you see minus 8.8.115 minus 8.115 we can also copy this down we can pick up the data for this last house from here and you see it's replacing it perfectly provided we delete the artifacts right here the unused rows you see the artifacts disappear it changed the color under us but um, it's okay so now you can rotate with a simple formula, relatively simple formula, custom formula, so user-defined formula, you can replace a lot of cells, a lot of cell formulas. So this being said, the file will be available for download in the description. And uh, next, I mean, next time we're going to see in the next tutorial, we're going to go from 2D to 3D, three-dimensional. We're going to generate a pyramid and then a cube and I'll show you how to rotate, translate, and uh, turn it into a 2D representation of the 3D space. So this being said, I will uh, see you in the next tutorial, and thanks for watching.